Think back to the early 2000s. You walk in your home after a long day of school. Your backpack falls to the floor like a cinder block. You plop down onto the couch and flick on the TV. Pokemon comes on and your mind is at peace. Everything is good. But then... You're in college now, and that veil of innocence that you once held very close to your life is now gone. Tuition, bills, deadlines, and finals plague your life. You've become a hot mess, and every day you have an existential breakdown. Eat some ice cream, and repeat the cycle for days on end. However, eventually, it becomes July 7, 2018. You turn on the TV, and suddenly, things become much more wholesome again. This is what happened to me when I witnessed Summer Camp Island for the first time. I saw an episode where a sentient pajama shirt tricks an elephant into playing with him, and instead of being annoyed with the pajamas, I found myself oddly hooked. The world of Summer Camp Island is set up like our own, except witches, monsters, food with faces, aliens, and anthropomorphic animals exist. It's a setting filled with the dreams of many children, and I couldn't help from feeling nostalgic. The art style, some might find a little creepy, was cute to me. Gave me vibes from Adventure Time and Over the Garden Wall. Characters like Moon, voiced by Cedric the Entertainer, the very lovable wits, Susie, and my boy, the xylophone playing kin loving puddle, spice up the world. But the two breakout characters are the leads, Hedgehog and Oscar. By themselves, Hedgehog is the logical, all-rounder, older sister character to Oscar. And Oscar is a big, emotional, and anxious meatball. He's my favorite, though. When these two characters come together, they create a beautifully human friendship, reminiscent of the friendship seen in Made in Abyss. A friendship so strong that I would consider the duo as a completely different character when they are together. A kind of friendship that I've come to cherish whenever I can. The duo will even learn how to freaking stop time. I didn't realize how much these characters mattered to me until the ending sequence of the time traveling quick pants episode gripped my heart the same way I grip a Big Mac. Other than characters, the episodes also have important lessons to teach, whether it be the ambiguity of love accepting change, or the loneliness that people feel and how we as individuals can reach out to those in need. Each one kind of rejuvenates my soul and gives me hope and humanity again. A minor gripe with the show is that some of the minor characters don't really have as much development as characters like the sun and even saxophone the yeti. I also feel a little mixed about how they just marathoned all the episodes. But apparently, another 20 episodes will show later in 2018. And with only four months of 2018 left, I look forward to visiting this island again. I just want to personally thank this show for filling that void for me. Craig of the Creek and OKKO OK are great shows, but this one really hit the spot. Thank you, Summer Camp Island, for being my cure. I'm up in the sky You don't pay me no mind Down in the dark Surrounded by stars But they keep to themselves Yeah, I'm all alone